go to edit choose preferences in general tab we can change the language if you want to change the style sheet you can change from here click apply In document tab, you can set the level of compression for the document save. Zero means there is no compression. Nine is the highest level of compression. Three is the default value. You can change the number of undo and redo steps on the documents. The default value is 20. The maximum value is 99. You can save the auto recovery information for every 15 minutes. This is by default. If you want to change the time, you can change from here. Maximum number of backup files to keep when resaving document. We can change the number from here. Under units tab, we can change the system of units. The number of decimals can be changed from here. Click apply. Under display tab, you can find the 3D navigation. You can use any desired template for the mouse setting. I am using gesture. The corresponding setting you can find from here. For selecting an object, you have to click a left mouse button. For panning, have to press right mouse button. For rotation, you have to press left mouse button. For zooming, you need to scroll middle mouse button. You can change the camera type. If you want in perspective rendering, you have to choose this. If you want in orthographic rendering, you have to choose this. Apply. You can change the colors. Under Sketcher, you can change the font size. The default value is 17 pixels. You can increase or you can decrease. So you can change the colors. This is the default values. If you want to change the uh, color of the edge, you can change from here. Similarly, you can change all the colors for the different parameters. You can see that 
show grid option so if you want to see the grid then you have to enable this if you don't want to show the grid then you have to disable this and this is the grid size you can change the size of the grid and this is the grid snapping click apply click ok create a new empty document I create a new sketch you need to choose the working plane I am choosing XY plane this is the grid so if you don't want to see the grid you have to disable the show grid option I am choosing uh, this icon this is a create a rectangle in a sketch so using this you can either create a rectangle or a square you can see the grid snap is enabled so if I move this cursor near the corner of the grids the snapping is enabled can see it is perfectly snapped so the size of the grid is 10 mm close the sketch Go to edit, preferences, under sketcher, you can change the grid size. I am going to choose 20 mm, click OK. Edit the sketch. You can see that the new grid size is a 20 mm by 20 mm. The old uh, grid size is 10 mm. This is the old grid size, and the new grid size is this one. To reset all the settings to the default value, go to edit again, choose preferences. You can find a reset button over here. So click this.